focus at this, that's why this, this bike with those pedals made this hand fucked up. There you go. I got this this, uh, this bike, my first ever brand new bike, a gravel bike. Because, well, people don't know what a gravel bike is. It's effectively a drop handle road bike, but with wider forks on the front and back. So you can have wider tires than on a road bike, which means you can go on gravel road, towpaths. You don't have to stick to general road terrain. You can go on various terrains. I bought this bike, you'll see in my other video. If you'd like to please uh, go to my channel and now you can find that video and already don't forget to subscribe. I bought this bike, my first ever real new bike and because um, on bikes like this you get pedals that suit you whether it's um, <coughs> you get these that are cleats which effectively means you have to buy something with a cleat like that in them little thing and effectively that thing underneath your shoe clips into there um, and then you basically have to twist your foot to come out and clip it to clip it in so basically when you're on the road you get a constant as you constantly attach the thing when you stop somewhere you just go unclip and you release your foot but the issue is I bought these and I couldn't get my feet out so I loosened them up via the uh, the screw at the side there screw that little screw there and they have four of those it has four of those two on each on each pedal I went to the towpath the other day and basically I had to stop I forgot I'll, I forgot I was uh, clipped in I put my foot down tried to, I couldn't get my foot out and I just went I fell, I just went down. Couldn't get my feet and I just fell. Didn't scratch my bike because I fell on my shoulder and then further up the road, I went another one. And there was a bit of a dip and a bit of a thing and I fell the other way. Like you'd see in the, in the comedy movies and comedy skits when they just sit there and they go, mm, you fell, fall over. So I had that problem. The tow path where um, there was cobbles for the overflow and I fell off there that way, but I was far enough over to the right so I didn't fall in the canal. So that was good. And I thought, oh my, I always got used to it. And each time I kept falling on my wrists. So I pretty much, if I wasn't so strong and my wrists weren't so strong from going to the gym and stuff, I probably would have broken my wrists. And there's a massive pillar there that I, for some reason in my head, I always go towards it. I went in towards it. Um, hit my, I always hit my shoulder with it and I went off and obviously like I said my cleats I was attached to the pedals and I went down this time really really hard like really hard so basically I, I was the fourth crash in the space of 30 mile riding on a towpath and I fucked up my bike I scratched it all there that was bent over there so he did pull it back so I could ride and I found out eventually that basically my cleats, what you need to remember on cleats is when you adjust them, you have to adjust all four. I, for some stupid reason, thought, oh, I'll just adjust two because where my feet are. I forgot there was four of them. I didn't adjust the two underneath. And so when I put my foot in, it was locked in even harder. Um, and so <coughs> what I've done now is because on these cleats, it's double sided, as you can see double-sided um, so what I've done now is I have bought some new ones where they are cleat on one side for the roads and for bits when I don't need to pull my foot out and then bits that I'm a bit nervous about and ones that I may have to put my foot down I've got normal pedal a cleat there as you can see and then normal on the other side so I can unclip when I want to and flick over and start riding and then when I'm back on it I can do that flick over and clip back in. So I bought that, I bought those, they're about 35 quid but that fucked up my hand like so as you can see, you can show you my other hand, my other hand is pretty decent how well my hand should be properly, although I did hurt myself there and falling constantly on, my, on the thing but you can see my hand is quite normally and bony on here. It's not so bony, it's quite uh, inflamed. I can move it more now, 
The other day I couldn't even move it, and if it is hurt, I can't go to the gym for a couple of days because I need to get it um, started. It does hurt even doing that a little bit, but it's not unusable. Someone said strap it up. I'm like, no, I'm not strapping it up because I want the flexibility. Becky, if you strapped up like that, you know it's going to seize. I'd rather just do that. So this, that's why this this bike with those pedals made this hand fucked up. So I've changed the pedals over. Uh, this is a Merida Silex 400, by the way. Great, it's a great thing. I do need to get some better tyres. I got those, those tyres that came with it. A crap. They're very thin, I got a puncher in the back, so I had to replace the back tyres. That was 40 quid, or something like that, that tyre. But it's a bit slippy, because when I was going on the towpath from the mud, my ass switched a bit, I was like, nah, I almost slipped. So for an extra foot, five quid, I'm gonna buy two more tyres and get better versions of these with more grip. Uh, I think it's 42 mil, which is quite wide, it's like so, 42 mil is about that, so that wide, it's pretty decent. And I've got to take it back to the shop to get a few things fixed, get a final service. I need to fix those maybe, or I might just leave them because they're done now, aren't they? Get them to get it checked out anyway, uh, and get riding basically. So uh, yeah, click the notification bell and comment down below what you think. Yes, I was a daft bugger, but you know what, you live and you learn. Um, I'm not injured fully. I've even got new valves on my bike now. I bought some Petey's new valves, so instead of having to take off all the tire when you get a puncture or whatever, you can take the, you can take this this valve off, and with this valve you can take the thing out and put the new tubeless sealant in there without taking the tire off. Um, it's easy as anything, quick quick done, and it's done. And I've got that on there, and I haven't put it, I haven't put one on the back on the front yet because I haven't changed the tire over. I set up, but these tires. Are new but they're not as quite as good as these tires for grip wise but these tires are crap because they're not very thick so I've got the other the other tire of that upstairs but anyway I'm sort of waffling on thanks for watching subscribe to the channel thumbs up comment down below what you think and uh, what your setup is show me pictures of your setups that you have for bikes this is a great bike in general I'm just a, a shit rider you know, I'm, I'm learning and you get injured while you learn, you, you live and you learn. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So uh, let's be positive and uh, let's get to it. And don't forget my house renovation videos on my channel as well. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye bye.